Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own conductive paint. These are not regular buttons. These were used in my previous video on how to convert capacitive touch buttons to real physical buttons. Originally, they were meant for playing games on your phone with real buttons. Unfortunately, I don't like these colors at all. So today, we're going to make them black, but still keep them conductive, of course. This is acrylic paint. We don't need a lot. The solution is four parts acrylic to one part graphite powder. The graphite powder is the secret sauce for conducting electricity, by the way. If you don't have graphites, you can always make them by grinding down that black stuff in the core of your pencil. I think that's too much graphite I put in. Here's a Q-tip to mix it all up. Add some water. It doesn't have to be a lot, just some water. Oops, I think that's too much. Since I added too much water, I'm going to go to this eye. We don't need to worry about the button's sides. I guess you can paint it if you want. It's pretty easy to remove from rubber, so you can see I mess up right there. We can certainly remove it later on. And that's not a big deal. Alright, now we wait for it to dry, maybe 8 hours. The buttons are all dried up now, as you can see. We can test it by pressing it. So here we go. Looks good. Let's go back to the home screen. Press on this. Perfect. Finally, I installed the buttons back in the car. These pieces right here are 3D printed. I could sand them down, but I kind of like them rough. To make them extra glossy, I just use clear nail polishes. If you want to get fancier, you can certainly try to electroplating them as seen in this video. To hold the 3D printed piece in place, in the back is the 3M VHB tape on the top and on the bottom. Having the pieces in place really helps with adjusting the fan speed and temperature while driving. When I'm driving and I need to adjust the fan speed, I just slide my fingers across down the bottom. When I hit this first 3D printed piece right here, I know that this is the fan speed. Press down to adjust the fan down, press up to adjust the fan up. When I need to adjust the temperature itself, I can slide my hand from the left over here. As soon as I touch it, I know this is the temperature. All right, hopefully this video helps you on how to make your own conductive paint. I'm curious what you will be using it for. Please let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.